In this video, I will give you an introduction on what ASM is and how it works for suppliers inside of Yakamo. So let's get started. ASN stands for Advanced Shipping Notice. And with it, you as a supplier can provide exact information to the customer about upcoming deliveries. The purpose of ASN is for the supplier to notify the customer when shipping is delivered and what the shipment includes. So the customer can then prepare for receiving the goods. So the benefits of using ASN for you as a supplier are that you have a tool to serve your customer that enables you to provide the visibility of upcoming deliveries so that your customer can prepare to receive the goods. Let's see how this works in action inside of Yakamo. So right here I'm logged into Yakamo as a supplier and I'm inside of the orders application. And ASN is part of the orders application and the shipments page can be found up here if your customer is using ASN with you. So what I'm gonna do is click open the shipments page. So right here we have a list view that shows the already sent shipments, but what we want to do next is to create new shipments. So I'm gonna click the create shipment button and first we can fill in the shipment number and this can be example tracking number, waybill number or other identifying number. And for this, I'm just gonna use 11111. And then we can select the customer company that we want to create a new ASN from. And I'm gonna choose this one. And on the right hand side, we can see the dispatch contact and dispatch location information. And you can save these as a default by clicking down here. And that's exactly what I had done. So it automatically filled out those fields for me. Okay, so let's click next. So now we can select the shipped items amongst the orders we have received in Yakamo. And we can filter these by status. So right now it's only showing the unsent ones. So let's click all and hit the search. And now we can see all the order rows that we have received in Yakamo. We can also filter these by status and also use the search. And for here we can for example, filter by order number. So let's do that and then hit search and we can see all the order rows from that order number. So I'm gonna select a couple of these for our shipment. So I want to ship these order lines and note that shipment can contain items from different purchase orders also. So they don't have to be from only one purchase order. Okay, so I have selected the items I want to ship in this shipment. So I'm gonna click next. So now we can actually build our shipment. So on the left hand side, we see the unpacked items. So the ones that we just selected and on the right hand side is our shipment. So let's start by adding a couple of shipping units to our shipment. So I'm gonna click here and then add palette and give it a shipping unit number. Let's say like that, add it. And I'm gonna add another one too. It's gonna be a palette too. And for shipping unit number, I will add like that. So now we have two pallets in our shipment. So next we can assign selected items to these pallets. So I'm gonna click this pallet open and now we can see that we can pack items to that pallet. So I'm gonna pack these ones to this pallet and then go back one and for the other pallet I'm gonna pack this one like this. And note that you can also add shipping units inside of shipping units if that's the kind of shipment you have. And then if we want to add some dimensions, we can do that from up here. So we can, for example, add a weight for this shipping unit. And there is also other dimensions to select from if you need those. So I'm gonna click save. And now I can see that the weight is displayed here. And if we expand the item over here, we can also add serial numbers for this. So right here, we can manually add serial numbers by typing them out on the separate lines, or you could also use some barcode reader, for example. So let's add those, and click save. And next, we can also add some batch information for this. So let's do that. So I'm gonna add new and add new manufacturing batch, and I'm gonna input the manufacturing batch number and click add. So this way we can add also manufacturing batch information for our shipping units. And this is usually used if you ship some kind of chemicals or paints or something like that. So let's click save. So now all of our items are packed. So let's click next. And in this step, we can review our shipment. So we can see all the information that we inputted down here. 
So the batch information shows there, serial numbers are displayed there and everything else. So everything looks good. So now we can save the shipment. So let's click save. And now the shipment is created and it's in open state. So if we go to the list view, we can see it down here as open. So what this means is that the shipment is now open and created and the customer can see this. But in order for us to indicate that we have sent the shipment, we still need to dispatch it. And we can do it by opening up the shipment and clicking the dispatch button up here. So let's click it. And now the shipment is dispatched and the customer will be informed that the shipment is delivered. If you have any questions about ASN or Yakamo in general, or you want to learn more about the ASN feature, please send us email. We would love to hear from you.